Hey there, I'm Aisha Cogborn, president of Epiphany Institute, personal brand strategist, and founder of the Platform for Purpose initiative. So if you've been hanging around me for the past year or so, you've probably heard a bit about Platform for Purpose. You've seen the book that we have coming out. You've been hearing from some of the collaborators uh, who are booking speaking engagements and, and doing all sorts of wonderful things to help people across the country with their knowledge, with their expertise, with their message. And in short, Platform for Purpose is all about helping purpose-driven experts make a bigger impact with their message. Now, I know some of you out there have been watching. You've been looking at us for the past year. You've been poking around on the website and trying to figure out if this is for you. And in the back of your mind, you're thinking to yourself, well, who would want to listen to me? And today, I want to address that Fear. That is what it is. It is nothing but fear because I tell you there is knowledge and wisdom on the inside of you that people need. You are literally the answer to somebody's prayers. People are out here looking for answers and they're overwhelmed. Like when is the last time you've done a Google search looking for an answer? Millions of results. How are you supposed to know who you can listen to, what you can trust, what's gonna work for you? Because what works for one person may not work for everybody, will not work for everybody. I can just tell you that off the bat. So people are looking to connect with people who have something in common with them, who maybe share similar values or life experiences, or who just have a spirit that they connect with. They're looking for you but you have got to let go of this unrealistic expectation of perfection. You do not have to be perfect to make a difference. In fact, we are living in a time where, and it was different, you know, if I think back, you know, I've been, been in and around media for over two decades, and if I think back 20 years ago, it was different. People were looking for people that were very polished and that had all of the answers, but we are not in that period in time anymore. People are looking for experts that they can relate to. People that they can look at and say, okay, well, if Aisha can do that, and I know Aisha's not perfect because Aisha reminds us all the time that she isn't. If she can do it, if she can overcome challenges, then I can overcome challenges too. So do not let this unrealistic expectation of perfection keep you from reaching the people that need you. However, I will tell you this, if you want to make a bigger impact, if you want the people who need you to find you, there are three things that I suggest that you focus on. Number one, get clear on your audience. Now, I know that the information that you have to share may be beneficial to everybody, but if you're trying to reach everybody, chances are you're gonna reach nobody. So ask yourself this question. Who are the people who are hungry to hear this message from me? Because everybody is not your people. They're not all your people. And I see a lot of people who struggle with confidence issues because maybe they don't have the traditional pedigree that someone in your field would have who would be considering themselves a subject matter expert or a thought leader, or it could be something very personal like your, your physical appearance or your dialect. But let me tell you, those things are not a showstopper. But if there are people who don't want to hear from you or who don't respect you because of those things, they are not your people. So find the folks who will appreciate you for who you are. And I'll tell you this, in some cases, they will also appreciate you for who you are not. Number two, don't be afraid to go against the grain. Now, I know there are some people whose whole shtick is shock and awe, and I'm not talking about that. But there may be times where you will have a perspective or an opinion that runs counter to the status quo. So what are you gonna do? 
Are you going to keep your mouth closed just because you know there are going to be people who won't agree with you? Or are you gonna share your convictions and tell folks how you really feel? And it can be scary, I know that it can, but I tell you this, if it's something that you truly believe in, know that there are other people too who feel the same way that you feel, and they're probably sitting in the corner somewhere being quiet because they're afraid to say how they feel also. And you being brave enough to be that person who will go out on that limb and, you know, say what other folks won't say, even when they want to, that may be what allows your audience to truly connect with you. And finally, tip number three, be a real person. <laughs> now, I know that sounds like a super simplistic tip, right? But I can't tell you how many times that I have been training somebody to prepare for a speaking engagement or to do a media appearance and they can be the most vibrant people in the world and when i turn on that camera it's like their personality disappears like half of the population in avengers infinity war don't do that be you if you're on camera like this i tell you look right into that viewfinder right there right there right there and think about the person who you're talking to think about who is on the other end of that camera who need you? If they were sitting down at your kitchen table and you were having that conversation, how would you talk to them? Have that conversation. The camera just happens to be there. When you are speaking, when you are in front of an audience, when you're on a stage, yes, you are teaching, you are presenting information, you are, are motivating, inspiring, whatever your, your genre of speaking is, but at the same time, People don't just want the sheer information, they wanna make that personal connection. So don't let your personality, you know, stay back there when you get out there. Bring it with you. That's what we love about you, is quirky and goofy and everything else that you are, if you're a little off, just be you. And if people can't, now, okay, I, I feel like I should issue disclaimers there. <laughs> Be you within taste and appropriateness. <laughs> I should not have to say that, but for some reason I feel like I should. But don't be afraid to not be beige, to not be vanilla, to let a little personality, a little color in, because that's what's gonna make you stand out. That is what is going to make you an expert that people love to follow. Don't manufacture it, be yourself. And I'll tell you, I could talk about this stuff all day, but I won't because here's a bonus tip. Don't overwhelm your audience. Give them something good and actionable and make them come back for more. So I hope you will be coming back for more. But until then, uh, I invite you to check out our podcast uh, On Purpose with Aisha Cogborn. And you can listen to those episodes at onpurposepodcast.com. And if you are one of those experts that I've been talking about, who's maybe been hiding out in the shadows, or you know that you wanna get your message out there to a bigger audience to make a big, bigger impact, then I invite you to check out Platform for Purpose. The doors are open. We only open enrollment once a year. It's a year-long program. Our new cohort starts in September. So this is going to be your only opportunity for a whole year uh, and it is uh, an application based program so you don't have all you know you can't wait until like the day before it starts and say okay I just want to pay my money and, and go no you gotta apply we need to have a conversation I need to understand your goals and make sure that platform for purpose is a right fit for you so uh, let's make sure we do that if that's what you would like to do so you can learn more uh, and apply at platformforpurpose.com. So until next time, make every day, every moment, an opportunity to live on purpose.